I'm excited to hear about your book on happiness. Tell us what what brought you to write the book? What's the book about? And most importantly, where can people buy it? Let's start there. Well, let's I'll walk down all three of those. One of them, why did I write the book? There's several reasons why, but I think one of the biggest ones was people in our libertarian movement, and I'm going down that road, I'm sorry, but it, it'll be short. Um, always think, well, the movement is about uh, liberty or freedom or you own yourself or insert thing here that someone says or, you know, um, the Constitution or wherever they stand in their world. And what I would say is, no, it isn't. What it's actually about is happiness. Freedom and liberty is the way we can get there, right? The freer we are, the more ability we have to pursue our happiness, the better chance we'll obtain happiness. Freedom and liberty is not an end. It's a means to an end. The end is happiness. So I talk about it all the time, which is why you never hear me talking about libertarian stuff. I talk about happiness because that's how we get there. Not everybody wants to be free. There's a, there's a lie that we tell ourselves. It's all about freedom. Everybody wants to be free. No, not everybody does. But everybody wants to be happy. That's true. So why don't we focus on what we can all agree upon? We all want to be happy. We all want to pursue happy happiness. Literally, our divorce papers from the UK said life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. So was that important even back then? So that's the reason why I wrote the book. I wanted to show people that there is a way to move forward with happiness. Now, you might think, well, Larry, is it a political book? No, not at all. There's some stories about me running for office in there, but that's what I, not what it's about. It's about three aspects of your life you have to deal with. For someone to actually feel happy, they have to have three things. One, they have to feel respected. Two, they have to feel loved. And three, they have to have purpose. If you have those three things, you'll be happy. Now there's good and bad to that. Number one, the odds of you having all three at one time, not so high, we lose them often. And that's the second part, it's fleeting. Even if you have it, it will change. Your purpose will shift or adjust or you'll lose it. You'll, you'll not feel loved anymore. You'll not feel respected. You'll lose, you'll lose one or two of those. And you have to go find them again. There's also, also four ways or four arenas that you want to find it in. And you don't have to have all four. Any one of the four will do. Either family, professional, social, and or personal. And I cover all four of those. So it's kind of like 12 windows, if that makes any sense. 12 panes of a window. That's how you have to find your happiness. And I talk about all the failures that I have. It's very autobiographical. And it actually starts with me contemplating suicide. That's what the book even talks about. Why would I start in such a dark place? Because most people who will buy a book on happiness aren't happy, right? If you're happy, you're probably not going to buy a book on happiness. But if you're not happy right now, you're, you're, you're probably going to buy the book on happiness. And I want people to know that no matter where you are in life, whether you're contemplating doing something dumb or being self-destructive, whatever it is, that you can achieve happiness if you kind of know where to go. It's kind of a map that shows you how to start to pursue your happiness. And the problem is if we have all three, we're happy. If we have two of those things, it's relatively easy to find the third. If we have one, we kind of hold, we're in a holding pattern because we got something. So we're in a holding pattern. But if we have none, we will become self-destructive. That's simply human nature. We will become self-destructive. I don't want people to become self-destructive because self-destructive people also hurt others around them. That's what they always do by default, whether it's openly aggressive or whether it's by breaking people's hearts. Either way, selfless people help hurt others. Happy people do good things. They don't fight. They don't protest. They build businesses. They build families. They raise families. They do all types of cool things. Happy people, good idea. Let's be happy. So that's why I wrote the book.